Hello, my name is Michael. Welcome to Icona Health and Research Consult. Today we are basically going to learn how to measure chest expansion. As a physical therapist, you should be able to quantitatively document and also measure chest expansion. We have a role to play when it comes to patients with respiratory disorders. Our role is that we need to help them improve upon their breathing pattern and also help them improve upon chest expansion rate. So today I'm going to use my nice skeleton here and there are two basic ways in identifying your landmarks. The first one is that you use the C7. So with a C7, you can count downwards till you get to the reference point that you want to use. Or you use the inferior angle of the scapula. So the inferior angle of the scapula, when you trace it medially, corresponds to the T7. So you use the T7 as your reference point. And then you have the two thumbs on the spinous process of the T7 and you instruct the patient to breathe in deeply. So as the patient is breathing in deeply, you should expect the two hands or the fingers to move apart. Now the normal distance is between three to five centimeters. If you're having anything less than that, it means this patient has limited chest expansion. And as a physical therapist, you have a duty and a role to play over there. Now let's move on to the practical sections of this same principle. Thank you. Thanks for joining me in the practical section. Now, so I'll use these two colors, one to represent C7 and the black color to represent T7. So for you to be able to identify the C7 spinous process, you can easily identify that by instructing the patient to bend the neck down. Now the most prominent bone you will see is a spinous process for C7. Now you put a red mark there. Now from this red mark, you can trace the spinous processes down. Bear in mind that the thoracic spinous processes as you are coming points inferiorly. So you have C7, then move to your T1, and in that order till you get to your T7. Another process you can use is, another process you can use is, you target the inferior border of the scapula. So this is the end of the scapula, that's the inferior angle. So you trace the inferior angle back to the spinous process and you get your T7. Now from this T7, you instruct the patient to inhale deeply. Keep it here, keep it here for me. Okay, close it. You ask the patient to inhale deeply. So as the patient is inhaling, the distance between these two thumbs should be between three to five centimeters. Let's breathe in. Good. Out. Breathe in again. Good. Out. Now, if this distance is less than three centimeters, then we say, the patient has limited chest expansion. And as a physical therapist, your duty is to encourage exercises or perhaps prescribe exercises that will improve the thoracic cavity expansion whilst breathing. This is Icona Health and Research Consult. Thanks very much for being with us through this section.